y'all, it's Alicia, and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hop Lop. And I'm filming this on my lunch break, y'all, which is nice, actually. It's like a nice way to take a break in the day. It helps me separate my day uh, from work and professional obligations. Uh, I'm trying a new schedule out, actually, to see, because this week's just been crazy. And I know many of you said you identified with what I was saying. Uh, if you're working, then you understand. Juggling a family, you understand. And then I have on top of that these constant medical appointments right now and that's just because as I told y'all COVID had some impact on my disease <clears throat> excuse me that quite frankly I didn't even process I just didn't process until I got down here and then I could was like able to better register what was going on with me and unfortunately it, they all require like medical intervention so I'm just gonna give you a very small example nothing serious but I have some skin changes on my arm from scleroderma and they need to be biopsied. So that means seeing a dermatological surgeon and it means finding one where I can do the procedure in the office because, and they're not all, all equipped to do that because they don't want me having the procedure in the hospital during COVID. So not only do I have to find a dermatological surgeon here that I like, but one that actually has the facilities to do surgical intervention in their office. And this isn't a small biopsy. It's not as severe as like, let's say you were doing an internal biopsy. I've had like, I have nodes that I get biopsied all the time here. That's just a needle. This is a little more complicated. They actually have to cut out sections. So they, you know, they've thrown like five or six appointments at me and a whole bunch of tests. So I kind of do a little pushback because uh, I, I explained to them that I'm not free to go to the doctor every day or to have medical tests every day because then I wouldn't have any energy to make or to teach or to write, and uh, sometimes it's about being a bit firm about that, that yes, all this needs to get done, but can't we spread it out over the next six weeks? And of course we can, of course we can. But even two back-to-back -back days of it is enough to drain me completely, and y'all saw that yesterday. But I was determined, y'all, because I don't like missing your videos, and I sure don't like being behind on comments. Um, never mind making, and God bless Miss Sheila. What does she say? Leash, don't forget to smell the roses. You know, we have to be grateful for every day we're alive on this planet. And I truly am, actually. And she's right. If I don't take a walk every day, if I don't get outside and feel the sunshine, if I don't get to like appreciate all my environment, then that's going to affect me overall too. So I love that Miss Sheila is always our reminder that life is so valuable and fragile and precious. And that yes, all these medical appointments are important. My job is important. My husband's important. So is my self-care. So Ms. Sheila, you'll be happy to know that on my break today, I went, also went outside. So yesterday I took an hour walk. Today I stood outside for like half an hour and just enjoyed the sun. You can see I got a teeny bit of sun because I'm wearing sunscreen and clearly I was wearing my mask. But it was just nice to be outside and look at the flowers and I mean, they have beautiful flowers here in Florida. So it's so uplifting and colorful. And today just happens to be a stunning day, y'all. It's stunning. I know Pat would, would die because it's hot, but I love it. Today's like my perfect day. So I, I made sure to do that. It is hard sometimes. Those of you working as, as a frontline service workers have talked about this over the last little while. It's difficult to juggle work, PPE cleaning, our families, everything else add medical testing to that and you're like mm. so um, I did put the brakes on it because I also need time to appreciate my life right Ms. Sheila's right y'all she is right and that's good advice and I'm getting my hair cut this Friday and I might grow it out y'all so it might only be a trim we'll see it'll be a, a reshape and a trim and clearly some color because all you're getting is Alicia strawberry blonde all over the place and a tiny bit of platinum meets gray and that only here isn't that weird Weird, right? I don't, it's so strange. My mom too did only grade right here. It's so weird. Um, but I'll have new hair on Friday. It's super exciting. I've not had my hair done at all during COVID. If y'all remember, I cut it myself. I dyed it myself, although that was rather unsuccessful, wasn't it? Oh yeah, I did a terrible job with the dyeing. But the cutting I did well, it held me over till now. But I'm excited to have a cut y'all in a safe way. And supposedly they have a nail section. So if it's as safe as everyone's saying, then I'll have my nails done next week and I'll look like a human being. Uh, you see Soleil's amazing embellishments behind me. They're up because I do wanna spend some time today making something for Rear Roo. And so I have them out as inspiration. Plus I just love looking at them. I just love looking at them. 
Um, and now I'm so excited because we're going to do Lana Chin's Happy Mail, y'all, which is, oh, you saw what she said I had in my, my arsenal. Well, first of all, we know she likes Harry Potter. Because look, and I didn't know that about her because it's the first time I'm seeing Harry Potter washy. And so this is something I'm learning. How many of you knew Nor Cali Girl liked Harry Potter? Because I sure didn't. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. You know what? As cute as we make Halloween cards, DT has some amazing Halloween cards. I got really funny ones last night, four of them, to send to girlfriends with some racks. That just cracked me up. Um, so yeah, this is perfect. Happy tricks and treats and happy treats. A happy friendly boo. Happy Halloween. A happy, happy to you. Oh, I'm so glad you loved it. I'm so glad. Yes, yes, I'm getting better. Yes, I'm getting better. So let, okay, so Lana was impressed because I have been working really hard on my sewing skills and I'm even scared to show y'all. And Lana was so impressed. She was like, okay, Alicia, you're getting so much better. And I am getting better. And the truth is, Lana, my hand sewing, and I've been working on something for you and Soleil and a couple of other people, I'm almost at a point where I'm comfortable sharing it, but it's even better than what I sent you. But thank you for complimenting my sewing. You see, y'all, I don't get to show you everything. So I sent Lana something that she loved. I sent her an embellishment box. Um, I uh, That was a chunky dunk, and I sent her some hand, some of my sewing. And she, because she likes, she's really been inspiring me. She and Selene, a few people have really been inspiring with sewing. So she loved it. So that makes me feel better. Like I can keep doing it, you know? All right. So this was a beautiful card. Look at this package. I'm so excited. I love everything. I love everything that Lana makes. So I mean, anything in here is going to be, oh my gosh, y'all, you made the mini rainbows. It's like you and Selene are in my brain. Okay, y'all, I have tried making these. I made one for Soleil for the, the swap package I'm sending her, and I don't like how it turned out. And Lana made me the minis. Oh my gosh. Can you do a, a tutorial on how you did it? Because I watched the other tutorials and then I made a bigger one for Soleil and I didn't love it. It looked a bit messy, y'all. And then, you know what's sad right now? They have it at Hobby Lobby on 40% off. And I'm just tempted to buy it because the bought one looks so much better. But I did make it. Oh my gosh, I love them. They're crazy beautiful, y'all. Look at them. With all the twine, you did yours perfectly. So I have to figure out what I'm not doing right when I'm wrapping it. I see what you did. You did it a little bit differently, and I think I've learned a lot from this. This is why I love getting this. Sorry, I, I should study it on my own time, not on your time. But I got so excited because I've been making these. Yeah, you and I really are symbiotic. So. <gasps> a fairy tale. Look at this, y'all. Oh, my gosh. It's Alice's fairy tale books. These are some of my favorite charms, and you don't see them that much anymore. At least not at my Hobby Lobby. Oh, my gosh. I love them. Thank you. Where did you Daiso? Look, y'all, it's Daiso Alice bags, and this comes perfectly in time for Raru's package. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for this. What do they say? Pick a card. Oh my goodness, this is great. This is amazing. And look at this, look at this tassel. Look at this happy, simple, spooky tassel. But you see, that's all it takes, y'all, to make something look cute. And this is not hard to make. And yet, look how darling it looks. Oh my God, look, look. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna freak out. This is such perfect timing. You, And you do know, you know I'm doing this for Rare Roo. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. And I do not know what is in this darling bag. Oh, another Harry Potter washi. So you like Harry Potter, I didn't know that. I have to make a note of that in my book because I didn't know you liked Harry Potter. Okay y'all, here we go. Eek, eek, eek. Look at these, look at these, look, eek, eek. Oh, look at this world's teeniest tag. Do you see this? Oh yeah, world's teeniest tag. World's teeniest skeleton. Marcy, are you looking at this? Teeniest skeleton. These are for mini embellishments. Look, mini trick or treat. Do, 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 do. Mini tickets. Do, 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 do. OMG, mini cat boo. I'm gonna faint over these. They're all minis. Look, mini, mini. 
And then there's like, there's, I can't believe there's a mini guest check. And look at this and like a Tim Holtz style ticket. This is so thoughtful. Thank you so much for all these minis. Happy Halloween. Oh, I'm so excited. Pumpkins per pound. Oh, thank you so much. I love all these minis. Um, this is from Lana or Cali Girl. Now, we've been watching her on, on Instagram, but her, her Instagram was private. So every time I told you, go look at her Instagram, I didn't realize you couldn't see it. But over time, she's gotten to know enough people that she's gone public, y'all. And she has a channel now. So last time I was like, why can't I find her channel anywhere? But it's because I didn't, I forgot a piece of her name. I'm gonna link it for you down below. She's such a beautiful maker. And I showed you all the, the cutest tag flips that she sent me. And you can see that, but did you see these, y'all? Did you see these? Oh, so now I get to study these to see what I'm not doing quite right when I do this. Thank you for this beautiful gift and for inspiring me, just like Soleil. All right, y'all. This is Lana, and you talk to her every week on the live. If you join us on the live, then you know her. Um, but it's nice to see her work and her channel evolving. And I'll put a link to that channel because you want to subscribe to it. I know YouTube is unsubscribing us from everything, and it's super annoying. That's how I miss Soleil's videos. But it's important to us to subscribe to people where we want to watch their channels even if it means we have to constantly, I'm gonna set something in my schedule where I do a check every week so that doesn't happen again. And hopefully that safeguards me against missing your videos. Well, y'all, uh, I will be back on tomorrow and that will be for our craft live. And we are going to be doing two things. I'm going to be opening Sabrina Crafty Mom and Son's epic happy meal and it is epic, y'all. And I have mail from Lisa Douglas also. Isn't that amazing? So I'm going to be doing both of those during the Happy Meal. But my husband was poking fun at me this week because he was like, why is your, why during your craft lab do you get so little done? You're like one of the most productive people I know. And I said, it's because I find it really hard to craft and chat. And I really do find it hard. And he was like, well, you gotta pick things that you're able to do both at the same time, like the sequence mixes. So I said, yeah, you're right. So this week, y'all, we are getting a head start on handmade cards. Many people have been saying that they are running low on handmade cards. Like Misty makes up a ton and she's low on baby cards because so many people are having babies and she's low on sympathy cards, unfortunately. We are in that time, y'all, or encouragement cards. Um, and I wanna get a head start on my Christmas cards because I am slow. So I will be working on my holiday cards actually already. So I hope you will join us tomorrow at 7.30, which I know is late for our UK folks and not great for our Australian or our New Zealand folks. But hopefully you can join us and Bonnie's gonna try as always to make the live but might come in late. I wish for all of you a happy day. Listen, take away Miss Sheila's advice, she's right. As busy as I am today and as much as I need to clean up the disaster so the hubby doesn't lose his mind, I also need to take time for me today. If we don't do that every day, if we don't get to appreciate the moment, what are we here for? And I certainly am so grateful to be here. I'm so grateful. So even though I did take a little time today on my break, I'm gonna be taking another walk today. I'm wishing for you a happy and a healthy day. I cannot wait to see y'all tomorrow at the live. Lana, thank you so much. And don't forget y'all will be doing Sabrina Crafty Mom and Son's Happy Meal and also uh, Miss Lisa Douglas's Happy Meal. And I'm gonna start on my holiday cards, y'all. All right, wishing for you a happy and a crafty day, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye for now. Thank you, Lana.